we keep going uh, and we have a sort of real work ethic, uh, as Edward put it, uh, about what we do. It's like we work a nuts off because uh, we see so many bands who don't. And we think, why? You know, I don't... You know, you're given this amazing opportunity to, to, to share what you're doing. Uh, and people just sort of skin up and fall over and don't do anything, you know. Which is fine sometimes, but we're almost the extreme opposite. All we knew at school were, were each other and we kind of were known as this sort of sad little group who would go into a corner and talk about being in a band all day. Um, and it just happened. Certain things I put in songs because that's the only place I can put them. And then other things I put in songs and actually regret that I've done it because it's so personal that I can't actually look at it again. Straight in the eye. So I think actually sometimes it's too much like therapy. Uh, but everybody else tells me, no, no, it's great, wow, it's really upsetting. And I, I'm going, yeah, but it's, it's me, yeah. I've always sort of put certain things on, on the edge of my sleeve, sort of, for people to, to pick at, you know, because that's what I'm like. It wouldn't, it wouldn't matter if I wasn't a creative person, I would still be doing that. It's just that ever since I was a kid, that's kind of what I've been doing. Uh, like, when I was five or six, I was making models out of Lego and exhibiting them on, on the front of the television for people to, to sort of say what they thought and say how wonderful they were and things like that. And I've kind of been doing it ever since, and I suppose I kind of need it now. And <clears throat> uh, so I think songs are therapy in the sense that I've always had it to prop me up. So in the sense they're therapy, because I've lived with them. I've lived with the idea of being able to be creative and express myself. Without it, I'd, I'd be in the loony bit. Definitely. We used to listen to people a lot more, listen to people outside the band, and they'd tell us what was wrong with the songs and wrong with the band. But now we're just about beginning to decide that, that we know how to write songs and we, we know how to be in a band. The songs that I write and the words that I use are quite commonplace. But the fact that I put them in a song is something people relate to. I think that's part of it. I've always just sort of used common things that you like picking up rubbish, picking up people's phrases and stuff off TV. Yeah, it's like photo montage. How pretentious? Yeah. yeah. Being interested in music was influenced by everything. And the continuing interest in music wouldn't be served by just the new music. It's just not interesting enough. I couldn't sort of, I wouldn't be content with, with just having, you know, Oasis records and, uh, you know, whatever. Stop 2 is a classic example of, of, of a generation being told, um, the 60s were great. You loved the 60s. You weren't actually there. But now you're walking around in exactly the same clothes as your parents wore, listening to exactly the same albums. Don't you think that's a little bit sad? Just, just a little bit sad. I think it is. But I do it.